Hello and welcome back to another episode of Phoenix Point. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing the blind playthrough of uh, Phoenix Point Legendary um, where we are continuing to fight against the Pandorans. Haven is under attack. Minsuet this time where apparently a quite strong enemy force is waiting for us but that only means more loot for us. We're greatly being compensated and I sincerely hope that our lower level operatives of the prime group will finally make it to level seven. Good. So we got the right uh, gear available. What we do not have yet is the PDW that we're creating currently for inappropriate Murphy and he still can't put those um, arms on his back. Now we don't have any new weapons so I'm not expecting anything completely fancy to happen but that also means we can deploy and give it a go. ta -da! We landed! Somewhat in the middle of a few slums. Ooh. And we are immediately facing the enemies. Well. Let's do a couple of things here, shall we? Four starters. We're moving over. Oh, it's one of those Skrillas. Can't wait. Well, it's not a very big map. Time to reduce armor. Yeah, that those weapons are garbage. But okay, it is what it is. Rep clearance, yes, please. Then we're dashing. Moves up. Gets a proper weapon in hand. One. Two. Refills. One, two refills, one, two refills. Move it up. And we continue the onslaught here. One, two, 
refills. Okay, how many will points do we have? That one here costs... Four. So we gotta move over. Got to make sure that we're in range. Okay, seems to be the case. This should barely be in range. Further onslaught. Um. Done. And done. Okay, so good news. Everybody got their will points uh, back because just cleared half of the map. That indeed was a good news. The other side is somehow over there. They are already quite afraid of what's going to happen. Uh, first, uh, first few of them are panicking. Polly moves up. could get through the armor we would be fine throwing turret to there and then remote steering it Okay, that was a solid hit, a very solid one. <laughs> Panic, and just out of curiosity. Oh, we can remote control other turrets. Nice. Nice. Well, that's a complete game changer. That is an absolute and utter game changer. Holy. Good, so this thing has guns, doesn't it? It does. Which means we need to, in a friendly, friendly way, remove them. Moving out of line of sight for now. Oh boy, the aim is really poor. 
Might need to work on that one. So, Deli G, what are we going to do? I think for now what we need to do is just remove armor. Question is can we capture that Skriller? Might be able to actually capture it. Good. Ian goes back into cover. Ready. And I think besides just overwatching, we generally should be fine. It's a uh, long range uh, missile launcher is no longer working. And it's goo cannons work as well. Tell you what, we're moving up. I want to destroy his armor. Yeah! Preparing to fire. Getting those blast cannons down. I'm just out of curiosity, like, could we hit this guy? got a couple of hits in. I would say that is a job well done. Okay, so far the turret works relatively well. Just trying to remove armor. Since I now realize we can like chain remote control that thing. Very well. Just need to get rid of uh, of uh, all of the armor and then we're good all of a sudden inappropriate Murphy got a 
so lot of more damage to deal. Four hundred. And the guns are almost down. Okay, cool. Well, I'll tell you what. This is the time for Adrenaline Rush. Last the gun destroyed. Uh, spits of poisonous goo in a narrow cone. Uh, that's not good. Do we have more shredding is the question. I think we don't. Let's continue with getting the guns down. Sixteen armor is not the end of the world. Good, moves up. Dashing up all the way to here. Handing over more actions to Grell because now she still has her adrenaline rush. Will points, so might as well spend them. Three. Four. With enough will points, this is starting to be a massacre. Not sure if we can capture him though. This guy already seems quite battered. Nah, he's bleeding for 140 ish. I think this guy's just dead.
Uh, that was unfortunate. The repair of the turret will be costly yet again. Good, Dilly moves up. Gains, kills, regains. Let's go. Aiming. Just a bit off. Ranks moves up and shoots. And we're moving up. Killed both of them. Interesting. I thought only one died. Yeah, very un. Very unfortunate. Just overall, very unfortunate that uh, we couldn't capture that big guy. Lots of mind fraggers. Problem solved. Good. Hmm. break through that and maybe we can capture a few of uh, the mind uh, flares up overwatches Dilly moves up watches that unfortunately we only have those two guns for capturing do we have something or someone else Good, take that and work with it.
Time to friendly everyone. again. Ian moves in. Moves up. And make sure that that guy is done. Next turn, we're going to get uh, the other Mind Frager. Come on. Well, now, there won't be no next time. Because now, officially, the Mind Frager has decided to kill itself. That's pretty much it. Good. We captured one. Would love to kill the uh, to capture the Skrilla. Inappropriate Murphy gets so much less experience than the others. I think it's just a level discrepancy. And it's a shame to see <coughs> that the turret at the end died due to yet again one of those respawners. But I might need to accept that the turrets are to be treated just as throwaways. In terms of the team, um, JP Pauly. Yeah, it doesn't have a turret anymore, and that's a problem. So before anything else is being manufactured, that's the highest priority. I think we already traded, right? Yeah, everything's good. In terms of diplomacy, well, we are completely al uh, allied with the disciples of Anu now. There is another mission calling for our attention. Helios six moves there. Whilst Helios five. Construction complete. Moves there. So satellite uplink goes up in Alaska snow, and that means here we will finally get a bit more overview. These are also the question marks are also potential markers. We will fly up there with our team. I think we had. Yeah. Our Manticore 4, which is going to fly up there. In terms of recruits, no time in game has passed because I am just super slow with that game. Moving over. Can't get anything here. Which is a bummer. And didn't I want to do this mission with the Heliuses, or was I just dreaming that up? No, the Heliuses, I think, wanted to be on their way to capture the Antediluvian runes. Launch codes.
That would be helpful, thunder and sunshine. Maybe team number two is going to do that. They're not so far away. Yeah, the Helios is wanted to go here. No structure currently active, which means... Let me use the Heliuses. And the next facilities are actually those two up here. We're going to do them. Yeah, we're going to do both of them. Then we're resting up and then we're actually exploring down here. I think that's a good idea. Okay. Helios 5 and Helios 6 both make uh, their way there. That mission will start in a second. The Helios 5 team, Helios 6. It's the one that could use some more experience. JP and inappropriate Murphy, but yeah, never mind. Let's just let them just fly. It's all good. Good. Um, that will be our next stop. And since we've just received that new turret, we can actually hand it over. Fantastic. Good. Very good. Okay, team number two is exploring down here, which is fine by me. This mission is going to be the next one that we're having. And I feel like I'm missing something, but I don't know what it is. Two for nine is not a good trade. Yeah, once we're exploring down here, there's also another Phoenix space, Phoenix Omega. <clears throat> I'm not sure if we did that mission already. I, I vaguely remember we did, and that was the one where we couldn't even rescue a single soldier was completely busted but no um, going down here phoenix omega would definitely be a good a good uh, base activating it would cost too much though at the moment we need to focus on the bases that we do have and the next one that we're going to build out is phoenix point forward command because all of this here needs to be safe and secure And then potentially after that base, we're getting Europe done because we don't have a good grip on Europe as well. Africa needs help. Everybody needs help. It's just a lot of bases. Uh, that's all. And it becomes very costly to get the base uh, to upgrade the bases. But the scanning on the other hand and kind of the mystery palman, I imagine that helps. There's another base up here.
Oh, there's even a base up here, Phoenix Echo. Interesting. That actually is interesting. We don't have a lot of coverage here. And flying from here to here, it's a good hop over spot. I mean, the bases are pretty well, um, yeah, just separated. We will need another team. For me, that's a given. Could have hired a few berserkers here. Not the worst choice. Maybe the next time that I see someone for hire uh, with the disciples, for instance, we're just going to hire uh, hire them. In terms of containment, damn it, we couldn't even keep uh, the the mind flayer. Yeah, so either of these, if uh, they do have a good person, we could go for it. Team two here really has a lot to explore. More, 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 really a lot to explore. And fundamentally, it comes down to the question, do we have, can we refill here? In 14 hours we can. So we could go like this, refill shortly, and then do the scavenge side mission, do all of that. And go down here. I bet you since the memorial base is so absolutely remote from everything else, there is something cool down here. If we go here and scan it, there is either 1500 Andaluvian ruins or just a massive something. Still curious what this here is. But yeah, we, we will find that out. I do not believe this here is going to be a of of huge help. I don't know how how much there will be in Australia. Seems that like, like most of it is really in Asia. Yeah. Okay, cool. Anyways, guys, it's time uh, to say goodbye for today. Next time we're continuing with our uh, launch codes mission. I wish you all the best and have a merry day. See you soon. Bye-bye.